Welcome all to the Behavioral Alliance of South Carolina Working Through It Wednesday. Today we are here with Erica Bradley, who is a Regional Program Manager for the National Alliance of Mental Illness, or NAMI. She's a mental health therapist as well as an advocate, and she's here to talk with us a little bit about Go Lime Green. As you can see here, we have a QR code on the screen. Please complete the five question survey so that we know how to support you and provide educational materials to your community. So now I will hand it over to Erica Okay, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see this um, nice little flyer that we have. Uh, mentioning Go Lime Green. So what is Go Lime Green? Um, the National Alliance on Mental Illness in South Carolina has a team that is ending the silence. And this year we're announcing a new initiative to help spread mental health awareness in our local school communities. So our student athletes, coaches, um, cheerleaders, the marching bands, the community members as a whole, teachers, um, counselors, anybody and everybody that wants to be a part of this can be. We've partnered with the Same Here Foundation, the Hayden Hurst Family Foundation, and Helensky's Hope to kind of bring all of this together. So ultimately, um, it's to bring awareness into the limelight at these middle and high school football games throughout South Carolina this fall. Um, you know, guys, we all have mental health, just like we have physical health. For too long, we've been giving our mental health attention, um, you know, that doesn't quite measure up to the attention we give our physical health. So we need to talk about it. And we need to break that stigma. At these games, um, a short PSA will be played during or you know before the game. It's about two to three minutes in which the former Gamecock, Hayden Hurst, and a current tight end for the Atlanta Falcons will um, share their his personal story, along with Ryan, Ryan Holinsky, that was the um, quarterback at South Carolina just a couple years ago. Um, they'll also share some current statistics and overall just some encouragement to normalize talking about mental health. We encourage families, caregivers, and other community members to attend these games um, and also to attend webinars that, you know, Ending the Silence provides at free of charge, no cost to anyone. Um, the, and the information that will come out of these presentations are warning signs that someone may be struggling with their mental health, how to best support um, your child's mental health or a family member's mental health whether they really have that mental health condition or they just have daily stress um, and how to reach out for help on your own and resources. So for this year with Go Lime Green, we have 23 schools across the state in 15 South Carolina counties and even one Georgia county that will be participating either as a home team or a visiting team. So why does it matter? Pre-COVID statistics. So let's think it's August of 2021 COVID started a year and a half ago almost at this point. So before a year and a half ago, suicide was the second leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 24. 17.7% of our high school students seriously considered suicide each year. Now, the post-COVID statistics. This is from a 4-H and a Harris Poll survey of youth. Seven out of 10 youth said that mental health is a significant issue for them. 82% are calling on America to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. And 70% wish that their school taught them more about mental health and healthy coping strategies. So how can NAMI South Carolina help with ending the silence? Ending the silence um, gives kind of a 45 to 50 minute presentation talking about the statistics of um, you know, our youth, it talks about warning signs of mental health conditions, warning signs of suicide, which I know can be a very, very touchy subject, right? It's a very sensitive area to kind of discuss and hold conversations about. Um, also, we talk about how to get help, how to kind of collaborate with school staff, um, because as a whole, you know, kids probably spend three times as much time at school as they do at home once school starts. So, you know, the, the teachers, the staff, even think about your, your janitors, your bus drivers, how much time these people spend with your kids. 
So being able to collaborate and kind of link all of your resources together to get the best help for your child or even for yourself. Um, and then this, the, you know, we have a crisis line. We have the suicide prevention line. So with our presentations, you kind of get everything um, in, a, in a 45 to 50 minute window plus a 10 minute uh, kind of like a personal short story from our young adult presenter that helps our youth to kind of have that connection with someone close to their age. And that young adult really talks about, you know, what they experience with their mental health, how they, you know, what warning signs they experience, how they um, figured out how to get help, who they went to, how they found a trusted adult, and ultimately where they are today. It's kind of like a success story. Um, and then it just kind of brings it all into together we can really raise awareness and we can end that silence of the stigma that surrounds mental health. And so this brand new initiative, we are really excited about. Um, we hope that you guys can get out to one of these games. If you wanna look at the, uh, the game schedule, it's on our website at namisc.org under Go Lime Green. Um, it's, you know, all of the games are there, the times are there, the addresses are there. So guys, come on out and really be a part of bringing mental health awareness into the limelight. Thank you, Erica. We needed that reminder and we hope to see you in the fall at one of the games. So thank you all for being here, working through it Wednesday with the Behavioral Alliance of South Carolina and NAMI. Erica, we greatly appreciate your advocacy and hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye all.